right, guys. I must say, this is one of the most exciting fourths of July I have had in a while. Uh, I get to spend my exciting 4th of July 2019 in the Catskill Mountains. You're not going to start chewing on that thing. Taking care of my crippled little dog. At, I want to thank uh, Sancho's Aunt Susan for telling me about keeping this ice pack on Sancho's leg and hip. He seems to actually like this... Uh, this ice pack to keep down the uh, the swelling and so anyway it is Thursday night July 4th 2019 but uh, since I have to get up early tomorrow morning and hit the road to Vermont just gonna do all my doomering tonight and put it out tomorrow so it's close enough to Friday morning uh, July 5th, 2019, but before I get into a rare good news, I want to find some good news here on the 4th of July. I still have, Sancho has four more Alert Tribes members that he wants to thank for their very kind donations to uh, pay his vet bills and get him all fixed up, and I think we're going to get... Uh, Sancho Panza is going to get some <coughs> pet insurance. So at least Sancho, unlike his person, will have some health insurance after this little episode. <coughs> so I want to thank uh, Sancho's uncle and my lieutenant, Aaron Bartman, down there in Florida for his very kind donation towards Sancho's Recovery Fund and his Aunt Frederique Poulet for her very, very kind donation to his recovery. And we want to thank Tess and Marsha. All right, all for Aaron, Frederique, Tess, and Marsha, and anybody else, all the rest of you who have... Uh, donated to Sancho Ponza's recovery chip attack chipmunk recovery find I really am I mean we really are touched from the bottom of our hearts for this kind outpouring of support and let's all wish Sancho Ponza getting well soon and hope he has a better night than he did last night. It was pretty rough last night for the little dog. and uh, So maybe the ice pack will help. But anyway, we're going to celebrate uh, Sancho's recovery. Speaking of uh, Lieutenant Aaron down there. I can't remember. Actually, several alert tribes members have sent me this. I don't know if Aaron did or not. Uh, many versions of this, and I want to appreciate all the the tribes members looking out for me that who understand that I am making the ridiculous decision here in 2019. Your old uh, eco Nazi, depressed, collapsitarian climate refugee is going to sell his house on a Texas floodplain. And to buy some place in upstate New York, but I am also going to be buying a little winter hideaway in the state of Florida. Uh, I'm going to join this ever-growing, uh, just, I don't know what you would call it, invasion of what's called snowbirds. Snowbirds are these people, and I am going to become a snowbird. Essentially, a snowbird is someone who spends their uh, summers mostly in upstate New York is ground zero for snowbirds. But upstate New York and New England, but mostly upstate New York, they spend their summers up here and then they escape uh, down to Florida, usually in their Winnebago's or whatever, for the winter. And so anyway... 
several Alert Tribes members have sent me this story, and you decide whether this is good news or not. It's good news for Florida. Not sure what kind of news it means for me and Sancho Panza. Florida residents, this is, well, the, the, this is the Independent, which I think is over there in England. All sorts of versions of this story on the mainstream media today. Florida residents urged to kill snowbirds, quote, whenever possible amid overpopulation fears. The advice to residents of Florida, meaning, I guess, permanent residents, whoa, there goes Miss Piggy, Miss Piggy and her little, uh, her little uh, muff diver chipmunk. Anyway, sorry about that, Miss Piggy, but you and your little chipmunk can keep going. Anyway, the advice to residents of Florida about the rapidly multiplying snowbird uh, could not have been clearer. Kill them whenever possible. Naturalists say the snowbirds, which are an invasive species to the state, are reproducing more quickly than usual because of an extended warm spell. Yes, they can cause damage to wetlands and foul lakes and canals. And given the creatures usually arrive in moving van-sized campers, officials have urged residents to help. This is, uh, who is this? This is, oh, uh, this is just a notice posted by the state's Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Quote, Snowbirds are not native to Florida and are considered to be an invasive species due to the damage they can cause to wetlands, the Everglades, and beaches. This species is not protected in Florida except by anti-cruelty laws. Yes. It added, quote, Homeowners do not need a permit to kill snowbirds on their own property, and the FWC encourages homeowners to kill snowbirds on their own property whenever possible. Close quote. The snowbirds originally from upstate New York have been a menace in Florida, and there have been various attempts in the past to try and deal with them. Hmm. Authorities say snowbirds are often brought to Florida on cruise ships and in caravans of Winnebago's, huh. and they have flourished in the conditions found there in Florida. Joseph Wazluski, a scientist from the University of Florida who studies wildlife in Florida and the Caribbean, told ABC News the snowbirds were a, quote, serious problem from many standpoints. They will destroy wildlands undermine beaches, and cause electrical transformers to overload. They can even transmit salmonella. Hmm. Yet, he said he was not delighted the authorities had decided just to kill the snowbirds. Quote, it saddens me that all of these magnificent snowbirds 
along with multitudes of other invasive species, have to be put down, he said. But there is no other alternative for the problems. So we have been warned, Sancho Panza, the warning is out from Florida Wildlife Services that our residents have been put on alert to kill all invading snowbirds. I think I'd better keep that Texas license plate on my truck. What do you think? But uh, I'm going to wrap up this piece of good news and get back to the usual crop of bad news. And since this was a slow week with the holidays, I don't really have my usual ecological meltdown roundup rant because of the 4th of July. So I have cobbled together a, is it three or four stories? We're going to look at three we are so fucked doomer headlines uh, in lieu of this week's ecological meltdown roundup. And you can come back and find that in uh, the next video. Hope you're out there blowing up things on this 4th of July while the little dog and I hide out in our trailer on the side of the road. Bye, guys. No, don't, dog. I'm going to have to move your ice pack.